I think the corollary is that um, you should always be detached from the outcome. You might succeed, you might not succeed. If you went by the odds of a startup succeeding, you wouldn't even start, you know? Right. It's so daunting. The chances of really building a really large business, statistically speaking, the chances are very low. If, on the other hand, instead of looking for that big outcome, you're looking to make your best effort, to take a big shot, and to give it a try, then you might lose, you might win, but at least you have a fighting chance. And I think that people that miss that are never going to be in this business of starting a young companies, and that's fine too, you know? This is not for the faint of heart. And I think I loved your example of playbooks earlier because yes, you cannot uh, like move forward without an outcome or without a goal, but then you detach yourself from that by focusing on the process or focusing on how you do that. What are those small steps that you can take and not be like disempowered yes. if the outcome is not happening, right? So yeah, and uh, absolutely. And I think the one thing, yes. the one place where you see it so clearly is in yeah, the enterprise sector, for example, if you have a 30% yeah. win rate, that's amazing, right? That means you're going to lose seven out of ten deals. If you're going to get discouraged every time somebody says no, you're in the wrong business because seven out of ten times you're going to get a no. Right. That's a good outcome. Well, you could actually have a pretty decent business even if you win only one in five. So eight out of ten people are going to tell you no, and you're still going to have a good business. But if you focus on the no, then, then that's like good. We have a joke in sales where we say we make money on the yeses and the noes, we lose money on the maybes. So you should let go. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you should really focus on the positive.